Good afternoon, everyone. Spitting Cobra here. Um, announced this afternoon with uh, Baby Cobra that uh, the DOJ is investigating Phoenix. Um, this is the announcement, and there is some very important announcements here as far as holding Phoenix accountable for the First Amendment and if the police are retaliating. At this point, there are many videos out there that um, should be given to the Department of Justice um, during this investigation. Um, I'm going to try and find out how I can get some of those videos together and uh, present them to the Department of Justice to investigate um, because all they're going to see are the uh, body cam footage that Phoenix wants them to see, not the ones that were deleted. So we as cop watchers should get our videos together and present them to the DOJ. But here's the announcement. Good afternoon. I'm joined here today by Assistant Attorney General for Civil Rights, Kristen Clark. Today we are announcing that the Justice Department is opening an investigation into the city of Phoenix and the Phoenix Police Department. The investigation will determine whether the Phoenix Police Department engages in a pattern or practice of violations of the Constitution or federal law. This is the third pattern or practice investigation I have announced as Attorney General. Each time, I have noted that these investigations aim to promote transparency and accountability. This increases public trust, which in turn increases public safety. We know that law enforcement shares these goals. The Justice Department has briefed Phoenix Mayor Kate Gallego and Police Chief Jerry Williams about the investigation. We are pleased by their pledge of support. The department shares their goals. However, the individual police officers, they don't. They too recognize that we share common aims. Our investigation in Phoenix will be led by the Justice Department Civil Rights Division. It is based on the division's extensive review of publicly available information, and it will consider several issues. First, whether the Phoenix Police Department uses excessive force in violation of the Fourth Amendment. Second, whether the Phoenix Police Department engages in discriminatory policing practices that violate the Constitution and federal law. Third, whether the department violates the First Amendment by retaliating against individuals who are engaged in protected expressive activities. Fourth, that is the most important one for us guys. Videos that we have could prove to the Department of Justice that they do not follow our First Amendment rights and they do retaliate by arrest the city and its police department respond to people with disabilities in a manner that violates the Americans with Disabilities Act. This includes whether decisions to criminally detain individuals with behavioral health disabilities are proper. And fifth, whether the Phoenix Police Department violates the rights of individuals experiencing homelessness by seizing and disposing of their belongings in a manner that violates the Constitution. Amen. Those last two areas of investigative focus speak to an important issue that is broader than the Phoenix investigation. Our society is straining the policing profession by turning to law enforcement to address a wide array of social problems. Too often, we ask law enforcement officers to be the first and last option for addressing issues that should not be handled by our criminal justice system. Correct. This makes police officers' jobs more difficult, increases unnecessary confrontations, confrontations with law enforcement, and hinders public safety. This past week, there has been much attention to the impending risk of mass evictions, which would put millions of tenants at risk of losing shelter. 
Needless to say, the impact on individuals and families would be devastating. And as the CDC has made clear, the impact on public health would likewise be devastating, fueling the spread of COVID-19 infections in the affected communities. Associate Attorney General Vanita Gupta is leading a Justice Department effort with state court leaders on this problem. On June 24th, she sent a letter to state courts urging them to implement eviction diversion strategies that will increase the chances that families can stay in their homes. That's a good thing. Mass evictions would also have serious implications for law enforcement, adding to a crisis of homelessness that strains but cannot be solved by the criminal justice system. I myself believe that a lot of calls that come into the police department, the police shouldn't even be handling them. They, ha they do not have the proper training to handle a lot of those cases. The ramifications do not end there. Far too often, police officers are the first ones called when someone is experiencing a mental health crisis in any setting. But it is almost certain <coughs> that police will be called to respond to someone experiencing a mental health crisis if that person is also without housing. And as we have repeatedly seen, the risks to everyone involved in such interactions are enormous. These issues must be addressed if we are to ease the burdens that our society places. Oops. Here's something banks don't want you to know about your mortgage. Here's if something they don't want you to know. Just announced following an extensive review of publicly available information regarding the Phoenix Police Department. Today we are opening a civil pattern or practice investigation into the city of Phoenix and the Phoenix Police Department. We have reviewed court files, media reports, citizen complaints, and we also considered factors that we ordinarily weigh in determining whether to open an investigation, including the nature and seriousness of the allegations, the number of allegations, the steps that a department may be taking to address the allegations and the history of the department. We found that the evidence here warrants a full... Yes, this is why it's very, very important that if they do something wrong, you put a complaint in that way when the department of justice comes in and reviews them they can see this investigation but we approach this process with no predispositions or pre-drawn conclusions our pattern or practice investigations have been successful at identifying not only whether systemic misconduct is occurring but also its root causes so that those root causes can ultimately be fixed. As part of our investigation in Phoenix, we will meet with officers and command staff, as well as members of the broader Phoenix community. We will review incident reports, body-worn camera footage, and other data and documentation collected by the department. We will also review the department's policies, training materials, and supervision records, as well as documents related to systems of accountability, including how complaints are investigated and how discipline is imposed. As you know, about three months ago, we launched similar investigations into the city of Minneapolis and the Minneapolis Police Department, as well as the city of Louisville and the Louisville Police Department. Hopefully in Mesa cities, is next. As in Phoenix, we've been fortunate to have the support of city officials and police chiefs. In that short time, Justice Department lawyers have had in-person and virtual meetings with close to 1,000 community stakeholders in Minneapolis and Louisville. Hundreds more have submitted messages to the Justice Department. Okay, guys, there's just a lot more on what they're going to look into. Um, the most important part is that they're going to look into the, whether they're holding true to the Constitution and not violating federal Constitution. Um, 
and the thing is, the bad thing is, is we're going to have to wait about a year before we get this report on how Phoenix did as far as violations. So I just wanted to bring this to you and let you know that Phoenix and I hope surrounding areas of Phoenix is under investigation for all their wrongdoings. Um, but as we know, they're going to get the footage that the police department wants them to get the footage of. So this is Spitting Cobra bringing it to you. The DOJ is here investigating Phoenix. I'm out.